Greetings, this is Jack Dion from Zeal Entertainment, and today we are gonna go with a simple tutorial video, my first. And I decided to go with something very simple and basic, and uh, a lot of people that I've seen in the games I've played don't seem to actually know about or care about. So, let's just get going. It's a simple. I'm gonna start with simple tours. Yeah, I decided to go with something simple and work my way up from there and maybe by then some people will give me ideas of what they would like to see. Um, I was gonna do a session today but it turned out it it uh, the last 30 minutes it didn't record my sound for some odd reason even though my mic light was on. I have like a desk mic, not one of those headphone mic things, although that would be nice. So yeah, I, I can see when the light is on or off. So it was on. Still didn't work. And I was going to edit it for today. You guys would have had a nice video by tomorrow, actually. But it didn't work. So yeah. We're going to have a simple crappy door tutorial which is actually much more difficult to do in 3D and I'll probably they actually have door sounds now it used to just be open okay um so yeah I'll probably do a door tutorial for Unreal Engine some other time so yeah, always make sure that you have your trigger as action, because you um, player touch implies ta player just touches it and doesn't have to do any form of action. Now I don't know about you guys, but when I go up to a door, I usually have to like push it or open it with my hand, unless you have one of those cool ones that you can just kind of like run into with your stomach and just like flop it open or something. They usually have them at schools or I don't know, they're more like business stores. Um, that is in uh, sci-fi tiles but um, usually if you see this little weird looking golden knob thing, that's the doorknob, that means you have to open it. Which also means that you're doing a, you're performing an action so make sure your doors are on action, just to make sense. That's a little pet peeve of mine, personally, but I'm sure most people don't even pay attention to that when they make their games. Um, so, and as always, most game designers might, should already know this, but always go with efficiency and copy what you have previously made. And there, done. But we're not done with the video yet because that would be a cheap video. So I'm not cheap. So let's find a wall tile, get this going. And indoor doors, indoor. Doors, yeah, that's interior doors. This is an interior design. I'm not gonna design it more than just adding this. So most people I know, if they have doors inside, they don't work properly. And it took me <laughs> about two to three years to get this proper. Well, actually, it took me two years and. It probably took me a year to even, like, wonder if, mm, what's the proper way to say it? Hey, I didn't even care about it, basically. I didn't care about having doors that open and close indoors properly. So, instead of having that, you have this. And that 
becomes two steps forward. And then this is almost opposite of what that is. Um, so you kind of need to do up, right, left. You can look for this. And the best way to figure this out for the up, left, right stuff, you can see that this is a down. So you want it to start up with down. That's what we need. Turn right, turn left, turn down. And now turn down, and then... Yeah, um... Then you can close it, so... Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's simply all it is. Now, um... Let's, uh... Start player there. And, uh, to quickly have a character... We'll start... our party off with the second character so we can actually see the dude. Um, alrighty. So let's try this out. Alright. Yay. Pretty much everybody knows how to do a door transfer. The basic one. Um, but this tutorial is mostly for the interior door. And here you go. And one more time. Ah, I did forget something. That's cool. That is cool. <sighs> All you need to do is a very, very simple thing. And most people probably saw that before me, but I am still a bit mad that... I am still a bit mad that my session didn't work out today. So, yeah. All you have to do is delete the... Because I just copied this because, you know, efficiency... And it has a through on, but you want the through off. So you just delete the through on. And then click on the through off like I did. And that's all you need. And to save even more time. I'll have the character start there now. Because you guys already know that the other one works. So one more time. All right. And voila. So for those who never seem to understand how to do that, that's all you got to do. It's very simple, very much more simple than I had ever thought when I first started out. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to see me do more tutorials, just let me know what you want to see. Uh, this is, like I said, it's for very basic. I didn't know what else to do for a tutorial. I didn't know what else to do for today, but I hate leaving a day empty for my YouTube, so uh, I, I just went with the very first thing I could think of. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, if you guys liked the video, give that like button a huge hug. Uh, comment below in the section below if uh, you have any other suggestions on what you would like me to make a tutorial out of. Um, and uh, subscribe if you like what you see. And 
that would uh, I would appreciate that quite a lot. And uh, love you all, and stay safe.